This is here, and it is Saturday, July 11th, and I'm doing a quick video for you. Um, my laptop's acting up, so I'm not going to use the video recorder there. Um, so I'm going to do it on my phone. Um, tonight, I'm doing a quick video blog about um, less green lawns, and that came about today when I was out uh, at my church this morning to get ready to help out with um, our champion Hope, uh, where we the second weekend of every month, Saturday is actually, we go out and we feed, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, the homeless. So uh, I did that this morning, and but before I went um, on our ch church grounds, we also have a, a school, a private school that we have for, and I was over by our athletic fields and just looking out, and they were being watered, and I started to look at the grass, and I realized just how green and pretty it was and lush and full. Uh, because there aren't students playing on it, it's summertime and it's being taken care of and watered and all that. And it made me think and made me think about, you know, um, how that kind of relates in business. And in my blog post, you'll look above, there's a video, a quick video that talks about how to take care of your lawn and things and the things you need. And the three basically, three basic things that you need to do is one, fertilize it, two, um, control weeds or kill weeds and three is to water it so the first thing with fertilization that's the stuff you put with the seeds and everything to help make it grow and uh, get all the nutrients it needs and stuff so that way it has the best possible chance to grow as big and healthy as it's supposed to second part is uh killing the weeds and stuff weeds are what can overrun it overgrow it strangle it kill it not make it as pretty, and the idea is you want to have a nice, beautiful green lawn that everybody wants to come and see and look, and and you want them to say, oh, how nice, you know, and they might want to lay down in it, relax, and, you know, be comfortable because it's so soft and lush and um, green and inviting. And third is watering. I think the last part, watering is the most important because out with out watering it, the fertilization and the seeding and then taking care of the weeds you know it won't grow and it will look like a big brown you know dead spot or area like that so with that how does it play into building a business well one for me the fertilization once you build businesses for me it would be my blogging my blogging daily doing my daily stuff my daily income producing activity and that's where that would come in and that would be the foundation for building that nice lush green lawn that everybody wants to see well the blog is what Everybody comes and looks at and learns a little bit about you and entices them. The uh, killing weeds is getting rid of all the distractions, all the things that can get in the way. The time sucks. Facebook, TV, uh, video games, um, talking with friends or texting with friends. Um, just the uh, everyday things in life. You have to keep your blinders on and keep going forward. And three, watering would be putting your stuff out there on social media, sending to your email list, um, putting your having your funnel in place so that way when they see your stuff, they go through your opt-in and want to see more about what you're doing because they like how pretty your blog site is or what your blog talks about or what it entices them to learn more about you. So with that, that's the watering. That's the part where you get it out there and you're, it's kind of in reverse. You're putting it out but yet it's going to draw them in and entice them in. So with that, it's just a quick, uh, simple blog post, uh, video blog to post today. Hope you learned something out of, it, out of it. As always, the video links, I mean, the links below uh, to learn more uh, are down below. And um, as always, uh, make it a simply simple day, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.